Hello, my name is David. I'm the literacy educator at the Eric Carl Museum of Picture Book Art. Thank you so much for joining Storytime with the Carl, our weekly read aloud series. Today, we will be reading a book called Aha by Jeff Mack. Big thanks to Jeff and Chronicle Books for giving us permission to share this amazing book with you today. What do we see on our cover? Who's that? It's a frog, right? And the frog is saying, aha. Now, aha is a special word called a palindrome. And a palindrome is a word that can be spelled the same way, both forward and backwards. A H H A A H H A. Aha! Aha could be something we say when we have an idea or we find something. On three, let's all say aha together. Ready? One, two, three. Aha! Nice. Keep an eye out for these letters as we read because these are the only letters in the entire story. A lot of this book is going to be told in the pictures. So let's put on our super duper x-ray reading glasses. And as we read, let's look closely and help to tell the story by talking about what we see happening in the pictures. Aha! By Jeff Mack. On our end papers, we see that frog from the cover <gasps> resting and relaxing in the water. And we see the same letters, A-A-H-H, -H, but now they're in a different order. Ah. Our title page, we see the frog has found something. Aha! What has frog found? Hmm. Maybe it's a rock? Let's see. Yeah. There is frog resting on a rock, enjoying the sunshine. Ah, but what else is happening? We see, oh, there's a dog coming along and a kid reaching down with a jar. What do we think is going to happen next? On three, let's turn the page and find out. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh, what happened to Frog? Frog is trapped inside the jar. Frog looks pretty surprised. And now Dog is thinking, Aha, we caught you. Oh, oh now what's happening? The lid fell off the jar, and the frog is falling. Ah! Oh. Looks like frog got away. Oh. Aha, says the frog. Now what has frog found to rest on? What do you think that is? Hmm, maybe it's another rock? No. On three, let's turn the page and find out. One, two, three. Oh, oh, what is it? It's a turtle. And the turtle is saying, aha. What is the turtle thinking? 
Let's count to three and see. One, two, three. <gasps> ah! Says frog. <gasps> what is turtle doing? Turtle ah, is trying to bite the frog. <gasps> Do you think frog is going to get bitten? Where will frog get away? <gasps> Let's count to three and see. One, two, three. <gasps> ah. Looks like frog has gotten away. There's turtle all the way back on that log. Aha, says frog. Now what has frog found to rest on? Hmm, what could that be? Hmm, it's brown. It's got bumps on it. Maybe it's a log? Let's count to three and find out. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, there's Frog lying down and relaxing on a log. Wait, is that a log? <gasps> no, what is it? It's a crocodile? <gasps> You can see its eye on the side. And Crocodile is thinking, aha! What do we think Crocodile is going to do? Let's count to three and see. One, two, three. Ah! Crocodile! is trying to eat the frog. Ah! Is frog gonna get eaten? Or will frog get away? What do you think? Let's count to three and we'll see. One, two, three. Oh. Phew! Frog escaped. Frog got away, we can see. Turtle and crocodile eyeing the frog from the side of the pond. Aha, says frog. What has frog landed on now? Hmm. Maybe it's a really tall piece of grass? A blade of grass? I don't know. It's long and thin. And pink, hmm, what could that be? Let's turn the page and find out. One, two, three. <gasps> Whoa, what is it? A flamingo. The frog landed on the long leg of the flamingo. And the flamingo is saying, aha. Let's see what the flamingo is gonna do next. One, two, three. <gasps> ah! The flamingo tried to eat the frog, but what did it bite instead? Oh man, the flamingo bit its own leg. Ah! Ah! Frog is jumping away. Oh. Now where has frog landed? Back in the jar that we saw at the beginning. All the other animals are saying, aha, aha, aha. Maybe they're teasing Frog because Frog has finally been caught in the jar. Who caught the frog in the jar? Do you remember who had the jar? Let's see. One, two, three. <gasps> It's the kid from the beginning. We can see them holding up the jar. 
with the frog in it. And now the kid is saying, aha, finally caught you, frog. There we see Frog getting carried away in the jar, but Frog doesn't look too upset about it. Frog is sticking its tongue out and saying, ha ha. Maybe Frog is teasing the other animals that were trying to eat it because it's getting away, ha ha. What has happened? The lid has fallen off the jar again. And Frog is thinking, aha. What is going to happen next? Let's see, one, two, three. Ah. We see Frog on the end papers has gotten away and is resting and relaxing in the water again. We see this beautiful pink and purple and lots of little twinkling stars reflected in the water. Maybe it's sunset now. Wow. That was so much fun reading Aha with you, right? One of the things I love about this book is how few words there are and how we can help to tell the story by reading the pictures. Nearly wordless books like this are a lot of fun because readers of all ages can all help to tell the story by talking about what they see in the pictures. And Jeff Mack, the creator of this book, has written lots of really, really great nearly wordless books. He's also written a brand new book that's really fun called Just a Story. And if you're interested in learning more about how Jeff Mack creates his books, including his new book, Just a Story, you can tune in this Friday to see our interview with Jeff Mack on our We Heart Books and Art program. On behalf of everyone at the Carl, Thank you so much for joining us and sharing your stories. We hope that you'll join us for our next story time. In the meantime, be well. Bye.